so in today's session we'll be learning about Merth transformer javascript logger.info you might be thinking like why and what is the use of logger.info i'll be explaining multiple uses of logger.info i created a new step over here and added this particular code so the code is nothing but uh, i'm creating a variable and mapping msh pit 5.2 to that particular variable so, and this has been mapped and this info is locked saying that processing message for a patient plus with this particular name you'll be like what what it does actually so uh, when you go back uh, to the dashboard okay I just want to save them and channel so this is nothing but the log which we are getting over here so you can see uh, there is one log saying that message type is a01 it's also message type and a lot of things so this is a log so sometimes when there's an error in this uh, or HL server message or like when there is a specific failure uh, we might not be able to identify uh, the logic behind that so we can write uh, some logic in the code saying that this should be displayed in the logger info saying that uh, this particular logic has been errored out and there's a specific condition so we can create our own conditions like this and that will be shown over here depending upon that we can understand the channels condition and status so I just want to give some basic example and we'll go in detail soon so when I go back here I just gave it in a very simple way that I need this particular information I just mapped it to the first name and I mapped the first name to logger.info so it will be like processing message for the patient and the first name in 5.2 so I'll give some random first name and that would be uh, populated uh, over in the logger.info so I'll say logging.5.2 and we'll go back and create a sample HL7 message so I'll go here pit 1 2 3 4 5 so I'll say uh, the name would be Apple and the first name would be it's 5.2 right uh, okay banana B -A -N -A -N -A -A. yeah so we should get banana over here according to our understanding this is bit 5.2 again I'm saying it's bit 1 2 3 4 5 this is 5.1 and I gave a component separator this is uh, 5.2 okay let's copy this message and we'll go back and we'll save it and deploy the channel so when we deploy the channel you can see there's a lot of uh, logged information over here and I'm expecting that when we are passing this message it should give a log about what we have written over there I'll send it okay this is bit 5.1 and bit 5.2 I'll process this message and I'll refresh see you can see over here processing message for patient banana and one message has been passed so this is how logger.info helps in our real-time situation uh, to understand so this is just a basic example on how things work the actual examples will be coming now so I have written a code for you over here for logger.info error condition so you might be wondering what is this complicated code this is very simple as we have written the try catch method over here it looks complicated so what I can do I'll just remove this okay and this is a try method that it will try this condition and if it gets the specific error it catches it it will execute this and finally it will go over here so this is a very basic uh, Java try catch and finally method you can uh, learn in the JavaScript uh, fundamentals so what's happening over here is like it is trying to see like try if msh 9.1 2 dot string equal to ADT if it is it will say message process successfully and the message my message is nothing but uh, a variable so th that's how it works and if it is not you will get an error and code that runs regardless of whether the, an error was thrown or not logger.info executing the code even after getting an error so this is another condition even if the error is occurred the code will get executed it depends uh, on your requirement whether you are going to use it or not so again don't get confused the simple logic over here is like they are checking if is msh 9.1 is equal to ADT or not and if it is not it is going to display an error message in our logger.info so don't 
just think too much about the code you can think simply how the try catch logic is working so what we'll do we'll see we have like msh ADT a61 over here so for sure for this specific message error message processing should be the output in the lock so I'll go back I'll save it I'll deploy the channel and I will go ahead and send this you can see again it's ADT a61 and I'll process this and I'll refresh executing the code even after getting an error and the first one was like error processing message reference error function cannot be used as a left-handed side and as I meant so you can see because of that particular ADT61 we are getting an error and other another finally method got executed saying that even the code uh, executing the code even after getting an error so you might be going back to the channel and checking if these things are matching I'll just go back to the channel destinations edit filter logger.info yeah this got executed and this got executed what we'll do we will uh, try to uh, do some changes to this so uh, and like uh, make sure how this as this will process successfully okay so what I have found over here is like uh, we are getting this message processed mis processing message for patient banana because we are running another transformer JavaScript transformer rule which we have created so I just uh, disabled that I'll just go to the channel so I have disabled that to remove any errors and I just added small modifications to our code to make sure it is working perfectly without any issues and it is clean and clear I'll just give some spaces so everyone can understand this code yep simple thing is like when MSS 9.1 is ADT it will uh, give a message saying that message process successfully merge tutorials if it is not it will be giving invalid message and if it goes to like a, a error a try catch error, error processing message and even executing the code even after getting in error so these are like different conditions which we have given if I go back to channels okay I would like to save it and deploy channel perfect you can see when I tried two error messages over here I'll go back I'll copy this with MSH 9.1 value as ADT and we can do I think we can clear this lock perfect we have cleared this lock now it will be very easy for our understanding I'll just go ahead and send a message with the name ADT over here and we'll process so it should cross because it is ADT and it should become 10 over here and we should get our lock I'll just processed it and I refreshed it perfect so it says message process successfully in merge tutorial as per our code and executing the code even after getting an error this is one of the condition which he gave and you can see uh, we have no errors over here and we even have a received message thing so you might be a bit confused about uh, logger.info in multiple scenarios I'll be explaining few more scenarios uh, to make sure it will be very easy for you so like here I have written like few more uh, logger.info logics so this will log the count of repeating segments so I give, have given even over here you can give like OBX OBR or like multiple other segments generally EVN doesn't repeat but uh, for our like information purpose I'm just giving it over here so yeah okay we'll go ahead with OBX and make sure uh, we'll have a repeating OBX segment in our send message so this is one condition which will give OBX and this is another logging condition which will generally give the information about starting the channel processing and finish channel processing so this will just give like uh, this, this is a condition which we already gave over here and this is a condition again which we already gave so there's no if logic or no function this is a hard coded thing over here this is just an update how logger.info works you can give anything over here so I can give like completed so this will tell that as is the last step when this executed this will tell in the log saying that okay the transformation has been completed this just for an update purpose that the message has coming from the source information and it came to our destination filter and has been completed so this step if it says completed that's it uh, the transformation has been done this is just for our information purpose and let's see how this will be working in real time I'll go back I'll save this and I'll deploy both of them I'll clear the lock 
okay I'll go back and I'll create uh, OBX segments okay as I said it is very easy to create any OB any any particular segments just give it so I want the count of three let's see how this works I'll just copy it and I always use this funny quotations and names like apple banana to make sure things are getting interested interesting so you can see uh, we have like sent 11 and error 12 so we are not using any filter condition over here so it should pass our main focus is on logger.info okay we'll process this message you can see the message has been sent you can see number of OBX segments is 3 starting channel processing and completed which we have given that's it like logger.info is mainly for the update in the server log so this will be useful when you are working with uh, like multiple channels and things so you can check the status of the channel or like what is the error we got and we can create our own log depending upon our requirements so this is very very useful when we are uh, using like uh, building multiple channels and handling mirth so this is where our logger.info session ends and we'll be learning more and more uh, useful uh, transformers in future and you can have a look of this particular code over here even I'll be explaining all this in the github repository which I have given and you can monitor it over there thank you